Minasan Okarina Sai. Today we've got the lady with the legs, a very talented actress, singer, and performer. She's also like completely built for modeling. Really need to see more of that from her, honestly. Moika Koizumi, born February 27th, 1996, in Hyogo Prefecture, currently affiliated with Amuse Inc. Moipi was born into a musical family, with both of her parents and grandfather having music related jobs. She also has an older sister who works as a model in Osaka whose stage name is Alika. I am praying for the day that we get a photo book featuring both of them. I've also seen people joke around and say they're not actually sisters, but doppelgangers of each other. In 2014, Moika won the Amuse audition for the singing and voice acting section. Afterward, she began appearing in various commercials and stage plays. One of those commercials actually being for the popular anime series A Certain Scientific Railgun. She graduated from Osaka University of Arts in March of 2018, with a degree in broadcasting actually. Later that year, she made her anime debut in Revue Starlight, voicing a lead character by the name of Nana Daiba. She would also portray this character during live action stage plays. It seems she really enjoyed this type of career path since she would later join D4DJ voicing Yuka Sasako with the group Peaky Peaky, and also voicing Shioriko Mufune in the Love Live School Idol Festival game, then a few years later voicing the character in Nijigasaki's second season. She also portrays both of these characters in live action concerts. In 2020, the Moipina radio show began where she co-hosts with the person I would call her best friend, her fellow Love Live member, her fellow D4DJ member, her fellow Kukugumi member, and her fellow Amuse member, Hinata Sato. You would think they'd get sick of each other by now, but no, I guess not. That's a true friendship right there. The two of them have even released a song together called Dino Show, which I really, really recommend that you listen to. More on these two in the facts section later. If three groups wasn't enough, she decided to make a fourth group named Haru Moe not associated with any anime or game franchise. The name Haromoe is a combination of her name and her partner, Haruki Iwata, another fellow D4DJ and Revue Starlight member, debuting in 2021. Their most recent single, Futari Pinocchio, just came out a few months ago, and it is the ending for My Stepmom's Daughter Is My Ex. That is indeed the name of the anime. There's also a music video, so go watch it. Next year on March 8th, they will have a new mini album titled Villains Impress. They also have a monthly live stream called Kuma Mama. Aside from all these multimedia franchises, in 2021 she voiced Shiho Ichimura, who is actually a rookie idol, and this is in the anime Odd Taxi. Something I also really recommend. Maybe I'm just biased towards Moipi. 2022, the only new thing is that she got COVID. But moving on, this part is usually where I talk about one episode characters, but she has none. So instead, I'm gonna talk about stage plays because she's been in a lot and I feel like that's her main passion, honestly. The ones I'll mention are playing the Tasmanian Devil in Komono Friends, Mary Hunt in Otome Game, AKA My Next Life as a Villainess, and Ichika Hoshino in Call Her Malice based off of a video game. Something really cool about this one is that she shares the role with her Harumoe partner, Haruki Iwata, who portrayed the same character this year while Moipi did it last year. The last one to mention is a Bloom Into You stage play, which is a Yuri story. If you don't know what that means, well, it's two girls liking each other. So I'm pretty sure we see Moipi kissing a lady in that play. So go ahead and search the internets for that play and have your water ready. Her video game roles would include all of the multimedia franchises that she's in and nothing else. Definitely too busy for anything else, honestly. But concerts would include all of the Revue Starlight, Star Lives, and stage plays that Starlight Kukugumi were a part of, every Peaky Peaky performance with D4DJ, like Five Festivals, and the joint live with Photon Maiden. No solo lives for them yet though, hopefully next year. And Haromoe has also had a couple lives this year as well. She's been at Animax with Kukugumi, even singing the Zombieland Saga opening one year. Really love that. Over at Anisama, she's been with Kukugumi three times since 2018, with Peaky Peaky in 2021, and even with the Kimono friends back in 2019, being part of that amazing crossover with Fauna singing the Dragon Maid opening. I feel I mention this a lot, but look how many people are on stage, and I'm a fan of about half of them, so yeah. Moving on to the fun facts, she is 163 centimeters or 5 foot 4. On the socials, she only has a Twitter, unfortunately. She does not have her own YouTube page, but her group Haro Moe, they have one. And she has Moe Note, an Nico Nico program. I honestly don't see Moe P get emotional all that much, but when it comes to Haro Moe's first live that they had, well, she was very grateful. An absolute emotional wreck. As weird as it sounds to say, it was really heartwarming to see her cry so much. Moika is usually known for always doing weird stuff whenever she notices the camera is on her, like weird gestures or faces. She's also known for her crooked peace signs that she's always throwing up during photos. I'm sure you've noticed it in many pictures I've already shown. She's described as a shy and modest, but sometimes playful person who is rather independent. She has said that she relates to her character Nana in that she's always preoccupied with her castmate's well-being. More on that in a minute, but she also describes herself as someone with a lot of confidence, but she doesn't like to show it at the risk of sounding too full of herself. 
judging by all the videos I've seen of her, she's definitely one of those people who are very shy at first, but once they're comfortable around you, they turn into a crazy person. As I said earlier, it would seem that Hinata Sato might be her closest friend, as they're always tweeting about each other and appearing together in live streams and radio shows. Hinata has said that Moika would often help her find the right route to take to get back home, and would always wait for her so they could leave together. She always helped guide her like a big sister. Though Moika is very sweet, she is often bullied by a producer of the Revue Starlight franchise. In a friendly manner, of course, as he always favors Haruki Iwata over the rest of the girls, and Moipi started to call him out on it. <laughs> Her special skills include choral singing and being able to harmonize after hearing a song only once. She is honestly a really, really good singer and I feel like people don't mention that enough. Her hobbies include watching movies and singing a cappella, which she is very good at. She is nearsighted and wears contact lenses. One of her favorite places to visit is the aquarium. While I explain these next few facts about her, please enjoy this video of Moika being extremely excited to hold a frog while Hinata is incredibly terrified. She enjoys reptiles, with her favorite being the horned frog. Despite that, she actually owns a tree frog named Soramame, which was a gift from her agency, the one that you're seeing in the video. She also likes dinosaurs and wanted to become an archaeologist at one point. Despite loving reptiles, she is actually afraid of bugs and large freshwater fish. She is also afraid of flying on airplanes. But she really loves animals in general and has joked that she wants to be a zookeeper in the future. She really enjoys going to the aquarium and even buys a year-long pass to them. Miss Koizumi likes wine, green tea, brown rice tea, and apple pie. She also loves ramen and has said that she really enjoys drinking but practices self-discipline in order to protect her voice. Her favorite Pringles flavor is sour cream and onion. Same girl. Same. Damn, I really have a lot of facts about her. Her favorite colors are yellow, blue, and emerald green. I wonder if this has anything to do with her Revue Starlight and Love Live image colors being yellow and green. Her favorite season is winter, and she doesn't like to take baths, preferring to take showers so she can take less time. She seems to like horror games and doesn't get scared easily like most say you do. She has her ringtone as her alarm. This is to guarantee that she wakes up, because every time she hears it, she thinks it's her manager calling and she has done something wrong. Within Ichigasaki, she also has the nickname PP. Maria Sashide came up with this one, and you will be receiving no immature joke from me on this. Just so you know, I recorded this in the first take, not the fourth. Keeping with Love Live, she actually auditioned for an unspecified role in Love Live Sunshine. I think she would be a great choice for Kanan Matsura. Nearing the end here, Moika's favorite anime is Made in Abyss. She has made an appearance on Masayoshi Oishi and Airi Suzuki's any song cover show, singing Hitori Goto by Claris. This is the opening for Ero Manga Sensei, and she sang along with Haru-chan. They are really big fans of the pop duo Claris, in particular their work on Madoka Magica. The penultimate fact is a very personal one, but I follow around 150 seiyuu careers now and Moipi is easily in my top 10. More like my top 5, probably in the 4th position. I know our favorites list is always changing, but Moipi is consistently one of my top ladies. And finally, the thing she will be most known for, on February 7th, 2021, Moipi tweeted that her iPhone camera was blurry. To fix it, she tried cleaning it by washing it under the shower and blow drying it. This resulted in the hashtag iPhone shower trending worldwide. Twitter users even created fan art of her characters showering and blow drying their iPhones. It's been almost two years now and they still never let her forget this moment. But with that, we have reached the ending. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Please join me in the next one about the final member and my favorite member of Peaky Peaky. I look forward to seeing you there. ビーズだけ。ちょっと待って。おかしくなる。泣けてる。ビジュアルスター、私配信一人でやってるのかと思った。ちょっと。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>